Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Dad's Gone Crypto. I'm by myself today because Sean is on vacation and uh, playing a little golf, and I'm sure indulging in a few adult beverages along the way. <laughs> so we'll wish him a happy vacay, <laughs> and uh, we'll uh, get down to business here. What I'm thinking today, I figured let's do a little market update. Let's talk about some of the crazy things that are going on in uh, crypto, and uh, I'll have a little fun. And uh, just remember, I'm going to give you a little market update. We're going to talk about some tokens that I like, but please always remember anything I talk about here, it's not financial advice. These are just the ramblings of a completely crazy person that believes the current administration in the United States has made our uh, hard-earned U.S. dollars about as valuable as poopy-flavored lollipops. And so I'd rather invest that in uh, you know, some magic internet money <laughs> than let it sit in my bank account. But again, that's crazy. So <laughs> do, do not follow my advice. However, we'll have some fun and look at some issues here. Uh, so to start it out, let's talk about the fact that uh, AI is taking over the world. And uh, I think the singularity is here and we're all going to perish in a crazy AI inspired nuclear war. But <laughs> well, let's, let's hope that doesn't happen. But uh, you know, Twitter has gone insane. There is now Truth Terminal out there on Twitter. It is a Twitter account fully controlled by AI. So if you want to have some fun, go check that out. It has been making its own meme coins and uh, <laughs> it, it currently has a wallet valued at over $18 million. Uh, so yeah, go check out Truth Terminal uh, if you want to have some <laughs> fun with some really scary AI. <laughs> But getting back to uh, our own reality here, let's talk a little bit about Bitcoin because uh, I think some really exciting things are very close on the horizon here. Let me share my screen. And as you can see on my screen, <laughs> Bitcoin is threatening. It has been threatening for days now, but it's threatening to break out of this absolutely massive bull flag. I mean, this thing starts, and you can see it here. We've got the flag pole and then the flag, right? <laughs> and this thing starts all the way back in March. So we're looking at, and I know a lot of people have been talking about this, but we are looking at a seven month long bull flag. And we are really threatening to break out here. And obviously today we're, <laughs> we're kind of dipping, but over the last few days, you could see right here, we have, let me just zoom in. We have bumped off of this line how many times now? One, two, three, four, five. Five tries over the last few days here of trying to break over that line. So when will we finally break through this and work our way up to Bitcoin Valhalla? Well, I have absolutely no idea, but I think it's coming soon. Um, you know, back here, we obviously, you know, all the way back in August, we hit what I would think to be the the low of this downtrend that we've been in with this bull flag. Um, then we started, we put a low there. Uh, back in September, then we made a new higher low, you know, a new higher high, new higher high, new higher low right there at the beginning of October. And then just a couple days ago, we hit what I was hoping was going to be our, our new higher low, uh, but we are definitely threatening it right now. So, you know, what does that really mean? I don't know. I mean, as long as we stay above this higher low, which, you know, in my opinion, should be the low for October, which was right in there around, you know, what is that around 58, 59,000 in that area? Um, I think we're going to be safe uh, if we were to drop below that, well, then, you know, we're going to be in the doldrums and this, this bull flag might just continue for quite a while. But I, I don't really, in my opinion, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, you know, I'm wondering if we're going to stop here before we get back to that low uh, or if we're going to make another low here today. I guess we'll find out here soon. But again, in my opinion, I think we're going to, you know, be testing this here soon and probably break on through this here within the coming days or, uh, you know, at the most, maybe the next couple of weeks. Uh, you know, we've got November right around the corner. Uh, September closed bullish. And I think October's going to close bullish. <laughs> and when that happens, that usually means November closes bullish. 
the lows for November tend to come in early in the month. So I could really see November being the, um, you know, the month when we really break on through here and get moving. Uh, but who knows, you know, if all the stars align and things go well today, maybe we'll crash on through here today and make an epic uh, hammer candle here. <laughs> we'll find out. But as you guys know, in crypto, Bitcoin kind of rules the, the roost, right? Uh, Bitcoin's the original crypto. Everything pretty much follows Bitcoin. So as soon as we break on through there, I'm really feeling like the crypto market is primed to explode. Right now, if we look at Google searches, look all over the internet, uh, crypto searches are kind of really, really low right now. Retail is not here yet. Uh, and I don't think retail is going to get here until after Bitcoin busts on through this bull flag and starts putting in some new all time highs here. I mean, obviously, we're close to all time highs anyway. You know, we were we broke it and I think we were right around 74,000 or so is where we we put in that newest all time high back earlier in the year. So if we can bust on past that and the media starts talking about it and gets people excited about Bitcoin again, that's when you're going to see retail start flowing back into the market. You're going to see those Google searches really flying up. And what, in my opinion, is going to happen then, I think, you know, the, the meme coins are already kind of, you know, this cycle's narrative. I think the meme coins are really going to fly as retail starts coming in and then uh, right up along with Bitcoin. And then you'll start seeing some of that trickle back down into some major um, altcoins. Um, you know, I mean, we're already seeing Solana start moving, but, um, you know, I, I think Solana is probably going to settle out here a little bit now and kind of wait for everything to catch up. I would I would really think that ETH very soon, you know, as soon as Bitcoin gets up there and starts moving again, I think we're going to see ETH start making some moves and then we're going to see some of our other, you know, favorite alts. I think we've we've got in, is my in my opinion, we've got a lot of majors that are uh, super undervalued right now. Uh, some of those being AVAX and Matic, Algo, Adam, uh, Eagold. Uh, if you guys, I, I would look into those if I were you guys, if, uh, if you're looking for some, you know, major uh, large cap tokens that uh, have a potential to do pretty well here this cycle. I'm not saying they're going to move right this moment, but I honestly think those are going to be some, uh, some really good movers uh, later on as Bitcoin starts going parabolic and we start seeing the market really move. Um, one of my favorites as a lower cap token is a uh, uh, world mobile token. I've talked, we've talked about world mobile token an absolute ton of times here, but world mobile has just made its migration over to WMTX is the ticker. Now they have uh, migrated and they're uh, over to WMTX and they are now multi-chain. So you can pick them up all over the place uh, on ETH on Cardano on uh, base. Uh, so definitely, um, uh, that's one I would check out as well. They are absolutely building some incredible real life uh, infrastructure out there and uh, connecting the unconnected. So if you haven't yet, if you haven't followed any of our other videos, I would definitely go out there and check out World Mobile Token. So really, guys, that's about it for today. I really just wanted to talk about this, uh, you know, what's going on with Bitcoin here. And ooh, look at this as we're talking Bitcoin. You know, it was threatening that low there, but um, from the other day, but it looks like we we're starting to reverse Hey, who knows? Maybe this will be the day that we break on out of here and uh, carry on to uh, new Bitcoin highs and get everybody excited again and bring retail back into the market. I sure hope so. But in the meantime, guys, don't forget, like and subscribe. Come check us out in Telegram and uh, let's have some good conversations in there. Um, if you guys want to talk about, you know, tokens and that kind of thing, and, you know, we can bounce some ideas off each other about uh, what we feel like is going to be make, making these next big moves here as the market starts heating up. I expect to see a lot of you guys in there as uh, things get more exciting here. So till next time, take it easy, guys. The material and information presented in this recording are for entertainment purposes only. Do not misconstrue what you hear as investment or trading advice. Always do your own research. The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed by the guests on this recording are their own and do not necessarily reflect those of Dad's Gone Crypto or its hosts.